All right, everybody, welcome to another edition of Collector's Corner. This is Rick. Joining me is Dan, the Beast, and Mark Boy. How are you, buddy? Yes, I am good, sir. How are you guys doing? I'm excellent. I uh, just got off doing an interview with the toxic terror, Danny Adam, and can't wait to post that and edit it down. It was a really great conversation, so it'll be a lot of fun. Nice. Danny disappeared on us again. Uh, yeah, I, have, I, had to, I had to grab one more thing. One Two more, more thing. things. As always, uh, you know, we, we I got something to unbox today for the show. Uh, this is probably my last one for the month. Uh, so, um, you know, we normally share our wrestling collectibles. Um, I, that's probably a lie. I probably do have more stuff coming, but, you know. Um, <laughs> you know how yeah, it goes, we right? Do. Yeah. yeah, we always do. Wrestling uh, collectors are we're a new, unique brand, I guess. Mark, do you have stuff to share today? Well, my very first uh, collection that I tried to get, uh, that I always wanted, and I wanted to try to complete it before most people had it, was, of course, the entire Attitude Collection. Oh, wow. Oh, Every man. single one. That's amazing. I've had this since, since I first started collecting. This is the first collection I wanted to get. The hell with the pay-per-views. I wanted to get this one. That's so. that's that's a good goal. Did you? When did you start collecting, Mark? Uh, the very first DVD I got, obviously, was the very first one, WrestleMania 15, and from then on, hooked. Okay, that's cool. Yep. You want to go through a couple of those while Dan uh, gets himself situated? Oh, I'm I'm yeah. situated. I'm I'm all set. So. Situated. Oh. <laughs> you situated? Yeah. Well, why don't we take a couple look a look at some of the DVDs that uh, Mark brought along? Oh yeah. And yeah. I also got uh, these two uh, championship wrestling from Florida. Ice oh, n- nice man. That's that's some really awesome stuff right there. You got like Pe- Pepper Gomez, Dusty Rhodes, uh, uh, Joe the Dog. Uh, Killer Car Crew, a whole bunch of different people, and then the first one is Volume One, so a lot of good stuff on there. So I gotta, I gotta watch those again, actually. But. That's some good stuff. High Spots really does a really good job in their products. Uh, you know, I've got some of the Memphis DVDs that they they put out. And I've seen a couple of the Florida ones, but they they do a really good job at their. Uh, they yeah. put a lot of heart into their product. You know what I mean? Yeah, and another one. Oh, I got you can find this one on eBay. It doesn't always have the signature, but this one had the signature, so it was uh Jim Cornette. Oh, beautiful! Is that wrestling gold? Yes, that is that is the double double the rumble. That's so, awesome. Signed by him and everything. So. Now, what's the foot? What's the footage on that one? Is that Smoky Mountain stuff, or because I know the wrestling gold series was a uh, something that was around for quite a while. Is that uh, Smoky Mountain footage? What? Yes, a lot of small amount of footage. Okay. There's two events uh, before they were famous and the Night of the Legends. Okay, awesome. That's really cool. Yeah. Like yeah. Jericho and then Van Storm when they were the thrill when they were the thrill seekers. Yeah, the thrill seekers. Yep. And then if you want to go Impact, or I should say Global Force, there you go. All oh, four. Wow. <laughs> oh, nice man. Global Force. So I got Impact, TNA, and Global Force. I got the all three name promotions, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what I don't ever happened to Force. Um, well, it was absorbed by Impact, sort of. It's a really weird uh, subject, because uh, I guess they, they bought the rights. I guess it was supposed to change names. Impact was supposed to change names to Global yeah. Force. And then uh, yeah. they uploaded a bunch of the footage to the Impact Plus. But then Jarrett somehow left the company, even though he had invested. And they had the uh, there was a lawsuit going on for the footage a while, and apparently, Impact uh, just deleted everything off their hard drives for the uh, uh, the Impact Plus, and now that footage is gone forever. So, uh, so yeah. yeah. So this is this is this is here nothing rare, but just in case, uh, rest in peace, uh, we'll wear animal. Nice okay. brother, nice. Yeah. Yes. All right. Um, since you just mentioned Road Warrior Animal, I do have a special piece here, which um, 
I'm pretty sure, Mark, you recall this story, but back in January, uh, that's pretty much when I first started YouTube. And uh, one of the first videos, well, a couple of videos in, um, I did like a little like voting video um, asking you guys like, hey, you know, which magazine should I have signed by Road Warrior Animal as I was going to meet him at Over the Top 2020, which happened this past year. And uh, you guys voted for the 1990 issue of WWF Magazine. And here it is. Signed by Road Warrior Animal. Oh, so. Nice, man. That's sweet. Wow. Okay, a little oh, bit of rush. <laughs> and uh, speaking of uh, homage, uh, yesterday was the 70th, or not 70th. Wow, he's, he's 70. But uh, he's... 50th anniversary in the wrestling business, and he uh, actually won in a steel cage match. Um, got Jared King Lawler here. Um, another WWF magazine issue by Lawler. I think this is the only cover he's um, been on in WWF related. So, what what year was that magazine, Dan? Uh, uh, July of '95. That's amazing to have uh, something like that that looks in that great condition. That's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, be like, I, I mean, I, I I tend to get the best quality magazines as possible. So. Right. And then going on with the legends here, um, I, I tend to share this photo a lot, but you know, definitely uh, means something to me because it was my one and only time meeting him before he passed away, and. Uh, I know DVD Freak's a big fan of this guy, and, uh, I, you know, it, it, it's one of those stories that's, that's carved into my mind that I know that I'll never forget, and uh, if you guys check out my Facebook, um, I actually have a photo with this guy um, in my wrestling album, so if you guys want to check that out. Uh, Hot Rod. Right, Piper. So... Uh, this actually might be something I get framed, uh, sooner or later, but, um, yeah, just a distinct honor of just me and one of the greats, and just kind of, you know, you, you know, want to talk about, like, some Road Warrior animal stories, I, I remember, uh, you know, just, like, growing up, 2005, uh, they did that whole skit with like Heidenreich and Eminem and Heidenreich was practically the loner um which you know, I remember growing up, that was pretty, you know growing up it was pretty like toler um you could tolerate it at a certain age but I, obviously when you get older it's like huh, what the hell were they doing for booking and then I seen Animal come out and um that was actually around the same year they released the road warriors dvd so that's when i really got invested into the uh the road warriors tag team um despite the video games as well but uh you know getting more informative about like hawk um you know just like the addictions and you know breaking into the business and practically just going all around the world or wherever territory um they were involved with they dominated and they practically won every single major uh, tag team championship um, this world's had to offer. So um, to finally meet Animal this past January, it was like one of those surreal moments. You know, I was in a rush, no pun intended. Mm -hmm. But it was like pff, meeting him, it wasn't the best experience, sadly. Um I mean, he wasn't really engaging. He was just like, what's up? You know, nodding his head with the, you know, with the little snarl with his lips poking out like, yeah, I'm animal. Like, you know, <laughs> but um, uh, other than that, he was such a cool dude. And then just like taking a picture with him and he had like a replica uh, world tag team title, which unfortunately it wasn't like one of the like authenticated ones from like WWF, but like it was still cool to holds some type of memorabilia that he's, you know, represented um, in the business. Um, and uh, took the picture with him, got the magazine signed, and psh, tell you, that, that was uh, that was another uh, close call for me, because I, I always have a bad tendency of meeting wrestlers before they die, and then, like, months later, it's like, oh, they're gone. 
Well, so this like, isn't good. That's not good. I, I, I mean, they, any wrestler that me and you have been together and have met, that means they're all going to die. No, you hear no, this? You hear this, Mark? They, uh, stay, stay away from Stone Cold. Stay away from Stone Cold. There you go. Uh, uh, I'm off. Uh, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I just found it as a coincidence. And I was just right. like, oh, you know, but very humble experience meeting Piper and Animal just months before their passings. And just, right. I think Animal, a little bit more just because it was so recent. I mean, Piper, Piper was recent at that time, too. But I think Animal was just like, wasn't somebody you expected to die because he was supposed to be kind of like the the caretaker at that time you know obviously when there was animal and hawk you had hawk who was you know doing what he was doing and you had joe who was practically on his best behavior half the time not saying that he wasn't doing anything but he was a more calm one when it came to you know the more mature one yeah yeah but yeah you know just sad absolutely um Rick, what do you got, my friend? I, know I got, you got a something box. I got a high spots box. So let's see what is in this. I have no idea what's in it. I tried to guess by going in my head, trying to remember what guests they had on their Facebook Live uh, streams. So you know that like the autographs are normally one of those guys. And I tried to think in the last month who was on there. Uh, Dan, maybe you can help me. Because you look at the sites. Uh, I know Tully and Arn were on at one Tully point. Tully and Arn. Steiner. They had Steiner Brothers, Rock and Roll Express. Jake um, Robert, Jake Britt, the Snake. Britt, Jake the Snake, Britt Baker. Um, recently, Mark Henry. And then. Yeah, that would be I, too soon for Mark Henry, I think, because that was just a couple, like two days. That was just last week, and I got it today. So I don't, um, I'm not expecting him. I know they had. I know they had. Uh, let me see. Luke Gallows. Uh, We're going in the last month. All right. Brian well, Myers, Matt Cardona. Um, that's true too. Ed. Yep. All right. Let's open this up and see what the hell we uh, we find in here. I know there's usually a shirt. Well, always a shirt, at least I think. And there's always an autograph. And the box is larger than normal, so I'm assuming it's a nice. Uh, Autograph print of some sort, and then uh, it's usually a DVD. I think last month, no, I didn't get last month. So I uh, skipped a month, but I think there was a um, oh, the autograph's right on top. I can see the COA, and I don't want to look at it. I'll save the auto for last. How's that sound, guys? Um, so I feel. What do I feel here? All right, they box this up really terribly. I feel a DVD. Actually, I feel two DVDs. No, I don't know. Let's go with one DVD, okay? Last month, I got two DVDs. Let's see what this is. I'm going to show you guys first, okay? okay. Right. Do you see it? Oh, nice. Yep. Bring them out. Oh, nice. Well, you just told me. Oh, Winter Warriors. I don't have this one, so that's perfect. Nice. nice. Let's see what's the next one. I see a shirt, and it's black. I like Ooh. black T-shirts. Right. This but is I another get, DVD. Like every other restaurant T-shirt. Well, not necessarily. I have an Orange Cassidy one. All right, you ready? I'm going to show you guys. I don't know what it is. I see S and M on the back. Oh, my God. Are you fucking kidding me? Zach Gowan? Oh, my God. Gowan. Yeah, well, Zach... half off, if you know what I mean. Finding, <laughs> finding Zach Gowan, the life story of pro wrestling's first one-legged superstar. Jesus Christ. This isn't even a uh, high spots production. Uh, God, this is crap. I don't know. I'm not interested. I remember his short WWE run with the the Hulkster. All right, let's see what else we got here. I, I just saw the face on the autograph. There's a third DVD. There's a third DVD. What the fuck? Oh my goodness! <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> that's a sign. That is. That, this is the documentary. Wow. Oh, Dude, that, you're going to love this because this is obsolete. Check out the logo on the back. It's a Hollywood video. You remember the video stores? Oh, 
Hollywood yep. video? Yep. Now I know there is one or two other items in here. I'm not looking at the autograph. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, I found it because I felt something. I mean, I'm not going to get the shirt and the autograph. This one, oh, this is badass. Proud and Powerful, Santana and Ortiz. And then here's the other side. Is this one? Yeah. These guys I like. I love these guys as tag team. Or I can never get get uh, who's who when I try to say it. Let's save the autograph for last. I have a feeling I'm not going to like it, but... That's just me, though. I'm very picky and I'm an asshole. You ready? Yeah. Does it suck? Oh, dude! That's Ricky Morton. Oh, oh hell yeah! <laughs> Shit, yeah! You can't have this. Sorry, bud. Nobody <laughs> could take this from me. That's Ricky Morton's wrestling school. Oh, hell yeah. I've been watching... Have you watched this yet? On the High Spots Network? They run the shows? It's good stuff. It's like really old school. All right. So, I don't even recognize the back of the head. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Another horse puzzle? No. <laughs> is it that guy with Oh, let me think. It's Orange Cassidy. <laughs> I told you that was a sign. <laughs> The funny part about this is, did you or did you not, like, did we not, um, w this is the name we missed when we were going through the recent guests. I totally forgot about him. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> Overall, I do got to say that New Jack is quite the interesting human being. I did encounter him once or twice in real life, uh, Actually saved myself, saved my life from a riot once in the ECW show. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard this story before, Mark, but uh, I used to go to a lot of ECW shows in New York, and uh, he uh, there was a riot breaking out, and he basically was like, "Get the hell out of here! Let's go before the cops come!" <laughs> like kind of a thing. Uh, and it was pretty funny because we were like standing next to him. I, I don't know how, where the hell he came from, to be honest with you. It was like out of nowhere. I guess we were kind of standing where the dressing room was or gorilla, whatever. But it, it was quite the comical situation. <laughs> so overall, though, I think it was a pretty good box, uh, with the exception that of Zach, the, the Zach Gowan DVD uh, is kind of. But I do like this. It's kind of funny, the autograph. Um, this autograph is like right down here. It doesn't even look like he really autographed it, though. It just looks like it's kind of blended into the picture. <laughs> and here's <laughs> what is his fee for autograph signings? <laughs> like is it for three, three, three hundred dollars? No. All right. Well, no. maybe maybe a cameo, but like autograph wise, it's like fifteen. And the DVDs I liked, with the exception of the Zach Gallon. I mean, who the hell knows if I actually like don't you know? I might watch the Zach Gallon, but he's one of those. The cards I do like the cards, proud, powerful cards. Yeah. And the school yeah, of Morton. Uh, I'm wearing this shit tomorrow, dude. Speaking of uh, Ricky Morton, I, I know I uh, showed this off recently, but I can't get enough. You know, can't stop looking at this because it's so nice. But the uh, the Rock and Roll Express eight by ten. That's a beautiful photo. Uh, one one of the best sellers in the business. He could sell his ass. Yeah. That guy did a lot of work. I remember watching him when I was younger work uh, on a VHS, um, working with Randy Savage and Lenny Poffo in Memphis. So. Yep. Yep. Good matches. Yeah. And then, yeah. uh, speaking of uh, DVDs, I actually do have some unboxings myself. Oh, so shit. Might as well get started here. So. Safety knife. Uh, okay. Oh, don't cut your right. don't don't cut your dick off. All right. Oh man. Ah oh, shit, I'm bleeding. Uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> All right. So first DVD. Um, this is going to be one of the DVD. Oh, what's this? 
Deb Deb Finds. Okay. What is it? Nice little business card. Deb Finds. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll keep that. Uh, and I got an Instagram, so all right, I'll definitely look that up later. But um, basically, almost completing my uh, 2012 year for WWE pay per views. Um, the last pay per view of 2012, TLC 2012. Nice uh, man. We're waiting for the other three. So once I get the other three, I should be doing a yearly review. Um, what's that, Mark? I said I got that on Blu-ray. Oh wow, they still they were printing Blu-rays then. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that was uh, it's a different region, but I got oh, okay. it in Blu-ray form. Okay, so, cool. We got. I guess we had Shield versus uh, Ryback and Team Hell No in a tables, ladders, and chairs match. Um, Big Show versus Sheamus in a chairs match. That sounds fun. Um, and then John Cena versus Dolph Ziggler, or the Money in the Brief, uh, Money in the Bank briefcase was on the line in a ladder match. Uh, I believe Cena was still. Yeah, I think Active. Cena was still the Money in the Bank uh, briefcase holder at this time. So oh, all right. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to check this one I out. I don't remember this pay per view. So. Uh, going on to the next DVD, I definitely know what this is just because of the weight, um, and plus the eBay seller basically false advertised, mislabeled. So I still paid for it, but I'm looking to get the uh, other edition of this sometime in the future. So let's open this bad boy up. And uh, give you a hint right now. It's not the best WrestleMania, but, you know, I, I saw it live when it first aired. But, uh, well, do we have more? Look at that. More business cards. Wow. They know my name. Dave's Pat Times. Okay. All right. Dave's Past Times. Check them out on uh, eBay. So. Nice. But what we have here is the uh, three-disc collector's edition of WrestleMania 27, which this was the one where Rock came back and was the host. And this would lead up to uh, the Cena and uh, John Cena Rock storyline. And, uh, wow, ironically, this was the same WrestleMania that the Road Warriors got inducted into the Hall of Fame. So, huh, pays oh, off in the wow. end. So, who else did we have on? We had Michael. So, let me see. We had Shawn Michaels. That's the headliner, obviously. Jim Duggan, uh, Dula the Butcher, Sonny, LOD. And another guy who just recently passed away, Brad Armstrong. So, he didn't recently very... pass away. His father passed away. He, uh... Wait, Bull, oh, Bob Armstrong, that's what I meant. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Bob Armstrong, so uh, don't confuse me. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Rick. <laughs> and then, um, going uh, turning the hands of time here, I got two more uh, WrestleManias. Uh, this is the three disc collector's edition of WrestleMania 26. I ended up picking up a new copy because mine was beat up. So this one was sealed. And oh, nice. This one, let me see. This Hall of Fame included. Uh, I'm, I'm always fascinated with the Hall of Fame because I always love their speeches. Me too, um, right? Yep. Had Ted DiBiase, Gorgeous George, Wendy Richter, um, Mad Dog Vashon. Antonio Inoki, Bob Euchre, and Stu Hart. Was Bob Euchre still alive that at that time? Is he still alive? I'm pretty sure he's still alive. Yeah, he must be old. He must be old as dirt. I mean, he was old back then when I was a kid. <laughs> Sorry. And then we go to the very first WWF pay per view that was ever released on DVD, and that was. Yep. WrestleMania nice, 15. So I officially complete 1999, even though, you know, only two pay per views came out on DVD during right. that year because DVDs were starting to become the hot trend. 
and people were starting to um well VHSs would last for a couple more years, but they yes, were they slowly would. starting to become ice um obsolete. Uh but this WrestleMania, this was actually the first WrestleMania I owned on VHS. I remember going into a local video store with my buddy. It was actually in the downtown area, um, right where my mom lives now. And uh, I remember just like walking in there, had all these old school WWF, WWF attitude, like VHS tapes. And it was actually this event. And then the No Mercy uh, pay-per-view that took place in the UK. Um, I also picked up that event. Uh, so, you know, figured uh, that's what really uh, developed my interest at the time. But... Uh, Going through this WrestleMania, this was definitely an oddball WrestleMania just because of the card itself. Um, Triple Threat Hardcore match for the Hardcore Championship. Uh, Billy Gunn, Hardcore Holly, and Al Snow. This was the first time the Hardcore Championship was defended at a WrestleMania. So, pretty interesting. Uh, Billy Gunn ended up using the uh, a hockey stick because the Flyers played in that arena. So... Uh, this was also uh, Big Show's first WrestleMania, taking on Mankind. Uh, tag team match, pretty baffling um, tag team. I mean, you had Owen Hart and Jeff Jarrett, who were the tag team champions at the time, taking on D'Lo Brown and Tess, who won a battle royal um, during the Sunday Night Heat event. Why they didn't include LOD? Why, why couldn't it have been LOD? Um, Hardy Boys, Edge and Christian, never know. Uh, but this was also the brawl for all where Bart Gunn gets knocked out by Butterbean. And uh, we would also give the guy, see give the guy some rest, man. Give the guy some slack. Yeah. <laughs> and this was also the Hell in a Cell match between Undertaker and Boss Man, where Undertaker, or should I say the Brood, um, assisted the Undertaker with uh, lowering down a noose and hanging the Boss Man. So that all was right. pretty. Uh, that was pretty confidential there. And then we would see the first main event, uh, first WrestleMania main event for Rock and Austin. So, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mark, yeah. what else you got, my friend? Well, I guess uh, since Rick wasn't here on the last uh, uh, Collector's Corner, I uh, figured they're staying with the theme of New Jack. There he is. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Doing time with you. Just a three hour three hour shoot interview with New Jack. It's got five matches on it. So pretty good DVD. I figured I'd pick that up. Is so. that an RF? Is that an RF one or no? Who's this? Who's yeah, the it producer? Is. Yeah. It's, Have, uh, inside, pro wrestling insider. Inside wrestling. Oh, okay. So Mike Mike Johnson has something to do with that one? Yes. Yeah, that's incredible. Wow. Yeah. And what else? Uh, well, all, all the World War Threes from WCW. Nice. That's pretty wow. cool. Wow. All the the Starcades right here. That's incredible. Wow. Also got Halloween Havoc. That's amazing. Nice. The entire, entire 1995 uh, season of Nitro. Where do you find uh, all this stuff? Where do you find this stuff? <laughs> eBay, eBay. Yeah. And fall brawl. Wow. And the last, last one of those is, which was the Bash at the Beach. That's amazing, man. So, you got some great uh, DVDs. Uh, seriously, I'm really jealous and, of your DVD collection. <laughs> well, thank you. And I just, and I just ordered the entire Great American Bash, so that will wow. come in the mail pretty soon. That's, that's, cool. that's going back pretty far, man. <laughs> yeah. So, There's a 85, yeah. 85 to. 90, they didn't have one in 94, they didn't have one in 93. So it's 85 to 92, and then it goes from 96, or 95 to 2000. To wow. Get back. That's crazy. Why didn't they, why did they skip those two years? That's pretty I have bizarre. no idea. It, that's pretty, it was pretty 93. bizarre. 90, hmm. 92 was the American Violence Connection. They won the total for the tag title. Right. 93, there was none. 94, there was none. 95 was Savage and Flair to be the best. Yep. All right, gentlemen, what else we got here? Is that it for tonight? Uh, I actually have a couple more things here. Oh, my uh, God. Dan. So, uh, 
<laughs> Halloween is just around, you know, Halloween and October are just around the corner here, and I figured I'd okay. probably share probably the most, uh, well, in its time, probably one of the most intimidating superstars in its time, and that is uh, Big Red Machine Kane, which I have two autographs, one with his mask. Um, That's a nice little good one. And then I have another one. Yeah. With that is mask. So I figured I no eyebrows. To... No eyebrows. No eyebrows. <laughs> there. There. And then, um, included with these uh, DVDs, something that I also just got recently in the mail. This was an FYE exclusive, I believe. And this is uh, have, King Journey to Hell. Oh, wow. Um, it's just a five match compilation set. Nothing really special. Um, I just found it for a really good price, and I was like, huh, for a rare DVD, uh, brand new sealed with the security tags. Um, I'm not gonna open it. I mean, no point of watching it. All these matches are included in some type of DVD set or form. Um, mostly Unforgiven matches. He had like Kane and Undertaker from Un- Unforgiven '98, the Inferno match. Um, Unforgiven all three with him versus Shane McMahon, Last Man Standing. Uh, mm-hmm. Unforgiven 04, no DQ match between him and Michaels, Shawn Michaels. And then you had two matches, uh, one with Matt Hardy from SummerSlam 04 and Edge from Vengeance 05. So, like I said, not the best set. I wish I could remember how this was an FYE exclusive. I'm, I'm not sure if this came with anything. Um, or no. It came with a few. Um, like, so. Okay. Um, what's it called? FYE used to do sometimes used to do like short run uh, compilation CDs or DVDs that would have like five tracks of like the greatest hits of somebody, and they'd be like five dollars, six dollars, some bull crap like that. Right. I know the, uh, some... I know there was a uh, FYE exclusive for the self destruction of the Ultimate Warrior DVD, which included a yeah. fucking disc um, right. with some bonus matches, but. You know, coming across that, you're looking at like a good seventy, eighty dollars, which I'm not looking to spend on somebody who's just going to get ribbed on. So, um, right. two more Mine magazines. About 40 bucks. Wow, forty bucks. So yeah. let me see. Two more magazines here. One is from August of 1999. Um, I want to meet these other two sooner or later. One, I probably have a good guarantee you know, opportunity because he's been at M and J's collectibles before. Uh the other one, he's just, you know, he's out there. He's he's far, you know. Can't reach him. Can't reach him. But uh this is uh WWF magazine, uh Bangin' and Bangin' with uh the brood, which I signed wow. by Christian. So that's nice too. Wow, that's pretty cool. But, uh Christian will also be on this coming weeks uh high spots uh, gimmick table so uh-huh. um that'll definitely be interesting um hopefully to get uh dvd freak something so uh stay tuned my friend and uh for the last magazine probably my most well besides the world warrior animal magazine probably my most prized um mm, I don't, I wouldn't even know how to say this. You know, you know, it gets me in awe every time I see it because I actually met this person. But uh, sixteen-time world heavyweight champion, and uh, this magazine is from August two thousand and four. This is an issue of WWE Raw magazine, and that is Nature Boy Ric Flair. Uh, and uh, I'm quite jealous of that magazine right there. But you know. Very, uh, I tell you, he was, uh, no pun intended to Piper, but he was definitely a hot rod. He was just, you know, he, he, he was in the moment, you know, taking pictures with some, you know, woo, you know, woo into my ear and everything. You know, we took a couple pictures together, but psh, definitely worth it. I think he was only charging $50 for a combo, which isn't bad for Flair. Um, right, right. Uh, I would definitely expect more. Then again, I think it was a hundred, but I could be wrong. I, I know I spent a I, I spent a lot of money that day, but um. <laughs> other than that, uh, meeting Ric Flair was cool. Um, I recall meeting X Pac. 
Um, and my buddies to uh, Nash and Scott Hall as they were making their way into the convention. Animal was also there, there which that was actually the time I was supposed to meet him, but I just ended up for some reason, I just said, no, not today. Um, Cause I guess there were just other superstars um, at the time that I was interested in seeing. Uh, I ended up meeting Ken Shamrock, which brings me to a topic of discussion here, which I'm very, um, very surprised about that TNA actual well, impact, I should say actually acquired this. So, um, as you guys recall, Ken Shamrock's going into the Impact uh, Hall of Fame. Yeah. And he's going to be having a virtual um, induction by none other than uh, Dwayne Johnson, also known in the wrestling world as The Rock. So, um, we'll definitely see caught what, me on. We'll see what happens yeah. with that, to be honest uh, with you. Yeah. Uh, like, I'm, I'm like, even though it's not physically... That probably has to be probably one of the biggest acquisitions. Even if it's just a one-time thing, that's probably one of the biggest acquisitions that Impact's gotten in a long time. So, yeah, I hear you. Yeah. But, uh, you know, pretty, pretty cool there. Um, uh, you know, I, I'm not really big when it comes to, like, Hall of Fame. I always feel like Hall of Fame... Big. Um, I always enjoyed the ceremonies, though, but when it comes to certain inductions, it's like, you know, you have your celebrity, um, you know, your celebrities inducted, and, you know, it's just like, I don't I don't really find that as a wrestling hall of fame. I just find it as a contribution into, hey, this person likes wrestling. Let's induct them. No, yeah. That's like, saying, that's like saying, I love wrestling, and Rick, you know, you love wrestling. You know, Mark, you love wrestling. Hey, let's all get inducted. Why not, fellas? You know, pro We're wrestling have Hall the, of Fame. Pro, that's what I was going to say. We're going to have the pro wrestlers on Hall of Fame pretty soon. Uh, uh, hell yeah. So um, we'll, we'll have to get inducted by um, somebody. I'm not sure who. But, uh, D-P-A-P. Um, D-P-A-P. So. so anyways, gentlemen. I'm about uh, set for tonight. You guys? Yeah. Uh, it's I'm, almost... I'm, I'm, uh, yeah? Okay. Mark, where can we find... Uh, where can the fans, the listeners, the viewers... Where can we find you on the social media? Uh, MarkBoy316 on YouTube. Uh, Mark Sonia on Facebook. And MarkBoy316 on Twitter. Daniel? And, of course, you can find me on Facebook at Danny Bryant. You can find me on Instagram at D underscore BNC 187. And, of course, you can find me on YouTube and Twitter at Danny the Beast 94. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, especially if you're going to be watching my channel and you're not subscribed. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hit that button. I'm over yeah. here. And of, I know he's pressuring us to subscribe. I'm been subscribed. Anyways, uh, on a serious note, subscribe to the Twitter and the Instagram. It's the Rick Del Santo. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the Pro Wrestle Zone podcast YouTube page. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a great night. It's not stopping.